No, oh, what, what a nice October night. Seems to be on red key, man. I think it looks nice. The flowers are blooming. The trees are looking tall, healthy. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to change with the new update. Well, let's go through this portal that's slightly Halloweenish because it's orange with the trees surrounding it. Oh, oh. What? What? Huh? What's this? Oh, these are the stuff from last year. Wow. That's cool. What, what, what do I... Oh, wait. That's also a portal. I wonder if that goes anywhere. Hmm. No. Not anything really in here, I guess. I mean, like, pitch black. Oh. Well, this change... Did you look at that? The torch changed. What, what's this? What? Oh, it's a dragon heart. Man. That's cool. What's it like? Oh, wow. It seems the update has come, and I've been asleep for the entire time. Hey guys, and welcome to the Halloween update. And yes, it is released. Okay? Happy? Um, I don't know how to enter it. I think it's the same way as before. But, uh, give me, give me a solid minute to find it. So why did the dummy here forgot to actually check where the, the, the secret thing would be? Um, so, it led to me kind of being lost. Um, so, in the meantime, I'll, I'll show you something pretty cool. And that pretty cool thing is a new code. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to mention this. Actually, I didn't because it's the beginning of the video. There's a new code called Fuzzy Friend, and... There is this image floating around um, that that it could be. I couldn't find it, but it's a Bigfoot foot. So it gives you 10 balloons. It gives you five rockets, whatever they're called. It gives you a portal. And that's it. That's it. But still, pretty cool. You got a code. A code. Happy? Happy? Good. I'm glad you're happy. And back to the video. In... The first stage of Build Over Treasure, you'll see a lot of green stuff. You're going to go into the green waterfall because that's completely safe and sanitary and won't give you dysentery whatsoever. So go into it and you'll find a nice room. And in this nice room, there is going to be seven panels. And you can step on one and multiple people can step on one. It's basically the cue to start the boss fight. So when you step on it, a counter will start printing down. I just said that in a weird assassin effort. And it'll count down, and once the 30 seconds are up, it'll take you to the boss fight. Okay, it's open, and here we go, the secret place, version 5. Again, probably. So many secret places. So, um, you can click return, you can return back. But why would you? Um, this is really cool. Spend a lot of time on this. Look at these, look at these toxic things. So we take the spider... And we throw him into the, 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 the poison, because we're a horrible person. Oh shoot. The acid's raising, rising. Will I die? Probably. I could have died there. Aren't these bubbles like poisonous? What is this, King Caliente? Oh shoot. Are we rising or is that falling? Whoa, this is like that boss from the Super Mario Galaxy. I don't know which one it is, but... Oh shoot. Dang! I couldn't... I didn't see it! I didn't see it! Oh my gosh, no! Why do you do this to me? Why are you foaming from the mouth too? Where do I do it? Oh, I go back there. Ow. I'm determined not to get hit again. What? You can't jump on that? I thought you could jump on that. Where is the, where is the, bleh? what are we doing? What are we doing? Where, where do we go? Where do we do this? What do I hit? After all the dodging and jumping, there will be a lot of like pain, but you will get to uh, recover health every once in a while. Um, but don't worry. It's it's not that often. That that was sarcasm. It, it, it's a, you do get health regen, but it's not that common. But 
you still do get it, which is something new you haven't seen in like any of the boss fights. It's usually you get one life and that's it. Right now, I am very low on health. Like you can see I have like 1% health left. And then um, sooner or later, I get like a health boost. Now it's obviously not real time, but like, you know what I mean? Like I, I, before I was at like a small amount of health during the cobweb part. Um, so learn from my mistakes. Don't jump in the poison. Um, get onto the cobweb. You're not supposed to avoid it. Um, so you're supposed to get on it and fight that boss because that's what you're supposed to do. But after all that, there is a final part which I find the coolest. And this is the final part. The final part is you have to pick up stones, which I did not understand. And if you don't, you get reeled in by King Spider or whatever his name is. I don't care. But you have to pick up stones and you have to hold them over your head so when the King Spider um, hoists his, uh, what's it called, a uh, fishing rod onto you, you can stay protected and not die. Um, so that's what you want to do. Eventually, there will be more and more new items that come near you, like the spiders, and eventually at the end, there's an atomic bomb. You heard me right. There is a bomb you have to catch, and you have to, he'll reel it in and take it from you. So I don't know why he's like that. He's just very greedy and doesn't care at all costs to win. Um, and that leads to his ultimate demise. This is probably one of my favorite boss fights that Joel Turtle actually made. Um, because of its complexity and its style. Um, it's very unique and it's something I haven't seen before. Um, it's not attack based, it's more defense based where you're you're holding out against an enemy while the enemy attacks you instead of you're attacking the enemy um, piece by piece. Um, and I find that really cool. The spiders I think were a really cool touch personally because they are something that explode <laughs> and you can't run out faster than them. So you have to actually pick them up, which I learned by mistake, um, you may have saw while I was running from them. And once they're in your hand, they won't explode. They'll just stay in your hand. Um, same thing with the um, nuclear bomb. It won't explode, but a spider will bring it over and once they explode, they'll drop it. They don't explode with it. And here is where I get caught, and I don't like that, but this is by far my favorite part. When you get to hold the bomb, and then he reels it in like he's the coolest thing in like town, but no, he's going to hell. He's going straight to Satan, because this thermonuclear bomb also contains a spider that is going to... Actually, that was in the bug, I think. Um, <laughs> that bomb is going to explode, eliminate your entire family, but you live somehow, because... You've been exposed to high amounts of radiation poisoning, but don't worry, you're fine. And you get a dragon tarpoon, I don't know why it's that, I don't understand, and you get that for winning. But there's still a bomb in the center of the stage, that means nothing, you just gotta, you know, hold it if you want. But other than that, there's nothing to do with it, you just gotta go, you gotta leave. So how you do that is you press the escape button, or whatever it is on the side of the screen, to escape. To demonstrate the power of this rocket, I, not rocket, it's, uh, I messed up the only line I actually put in this script. Well, I'm leaving that in editing because uh, it was just a horrible failure. So, so I was going to do the, the power of flex, you know, you know, the whole spiel. I don't care. But you can shoot it and it's pretty cool. I don't think, I don't really know what it does. I don't know anything special. It seems really powerful. Um, also, normal harpoons have a timer now, so you know when they're done. So that's cool. The uh, thing has like 12 hit points of damage, so you can hit it against a rock 12 times and it won't break. I don't recommend doing that, but you can. Okay, so we're going to show you the stages now because that's the least interesting thing. There was the other stage that we just did to enter the thing. Um, I'm actually moving my hands right now. So on this, my thing, you'll see I also helped with the graveyard stage. Yes, I actually helped with another stage. I told you I was being more involved in the community. This is that stage. Uh, I didn't do much. I came up with the idea. I got the basic design down. Um, but the other devs took it from there because they're pretty good with building and stuff. Um, and now we have another stage, which is similar to another one, but we'll get back to that later. This one is like a 
has a cauldron in the center with green liquid inside and orange windows. Um, there is no new chests, which some of you may be disappointed by, but it, it's just a chest. It's not like it's going to end the world. Um, and for some reason, the stage isn't loading, so we're going back in and out because maybe it'll load. No, it's not going to load. Um, so I'm going to show you the next stage, which, um, fun fact, it's supposed to have like a skull inside. It used to have a skull inside and like the pre thing, but it never got added. Where did I get that info? From a helping in the uh, Skellis on Twitter, so. Not my idea, okay? Um, you can go follow if you want to see what I'm talking about. Um, so this stage um, is a stage where there are suits of armor that have a hammer and will send debris flying into the sky. This debris isn't that strong, it's just like one hit point of damage for each piece. And here is that other stage I was talking to about. Um, it is the same type of stage, just more haunted and more uh, tattered down, but it has a blue or bluish purple feeling instead of a green feeling, green and orange. You see the windows are blue um, and it's, it's purple. Why am I saying blue? I'm blue, da blue. Um, but yeah, it is, it is, it's, it's pretty similar. I, it's not a retexture because it took time to make the stage, but it is very similar. Um, this is also the return of the stages that have something in the middle of them. So it will break grinding machines temporarily. These aren't permanent, don't worry. Um, to show you it's a completely different stage, um, I'll just go to this one because you can see, look, it's orange. It's sky, uh, the roof is like red. Um, everything's pretty much different except for like the general structure. It's completely different, but still the same, if that makes sense to you. But it may not make sense to you. I don't know. That's up for you to decide. Um, and here at the end, we have um, one of the old stages redesigned, which isn't new. I just like to point it out. Uh, it's the UFO stage. The, one of them. It was one of the most annoying stages in um, early Build a Boat for Treasure because of how hard it was to get past. Because it'll just send your boat directly up, and you couldn't escape it. Um, there's nothing changed about the end. Nothing changed about the way the stages are laid out. It's just the ending. So nothing nothing fancy fancy. Just just boring old uh, ending. So yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, all the stuff here. I do hope you like the code. The code was pretty boring, but hey, it hits, it hits a Bigfoot. Because what's, what's the worst that can happen? Bigfoot's back. Um, I never talked about him because I really never cared. <laughs> but taking that fusion takes a very high interest in it. I'll say that too. It is pretty cool um, that they that chill humor them. Um, so we're going to go to these houses. And as a last thing, these are here last year, but now you can't actually walk away. I recommend getting a, um, a jumping candy or a, uh, what's it called? Jet pack. Just so you don't get swooped in its uh, hand. So yeah, that is, that's my advice. Um, now there is some new stuff still coming out probably um, that I haven't covered, but for now I think I covered everything I could. Um, so yeah, I don't know if the spawn rate of these houses are much lower or not. I don't know, but I just couldn't find many on this map. So as you see, I use the ceiling as the thing that pushed me away. But yeah, same thing as last year, probably different except for the boss fight and no secret room on the black flag stage sad anyway let's let's go do the outro yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video if you like this please leave a like and if you want to see more please subscribe tell your friends and other people you know it does a quick intro